Hey there folks, today we're going to take a look at this guy right here. This is the One Tigers Digital Force Gauge. Let's get into it. Basically what we got right here is we have a kind of a trigger pull gauge, right? So it, measure, it measures resistance, both pushing and pulling. Get this guy out of the box and kind of show you what he looks like. Alright, first off you got your instructions right here. Make sure you do read your instructions. Uh, this will give you a lot of information that you probably wouldn't know unless you actually read the instructions and it will answer a lot of the questions that you might potentially have. So it's good to go ahead and go through here and read this. I pretty much already have. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our trigger pull gauge and kind of show you what it looks like. So here's the gauge itself. You've got a bunch of different measuring implements as it were. For this purpose, we're gonna use this guy here. This is for a uh, trigger pull gauge on whether it be a firearm or in this case, we're gonna take a trigger, trigger pull gauge off of a drill. Now this gauge does not come with batteries. You need to open up the back right here. These are triple A's, uh, it, so it takes two triple A batteries. Again, they're not provided, so make sure you go ahead and get some. So put these guys in there. Make sure this door closes like that, there you go. So now that he's in there, we're gonna go ahead and attach our trigger pull gauge this part right here we'll go ahead and tighten this guy up we'll get him tightened and then if we're gonna hold it like this you tighten this second little nut on here and that keeps everything from swiveling around on you right so now he's on there we'll go ahead and turn our unit on big power button in the middle right we're gonna make sure we don't touch this guy so we need to zero everything out we'll hit zero and we're gonna be measuring they have newtons kilograms, pounds, and ounces. We're gonna go ahead and measure in pounds. All right, so we have, it's nice up here. Hopefully it's coming across on the camera. It's nice here that they have an actual, uh, what you call battery indicator, right? So it tells you uh, how much battery you got. So that's nice. So you're not gonna accidentally run out of battery. You can always look at that and see see your battery status. All right, so, all right before we actually measure the pull weight or then pounds on the drill itself, I'm gonna show you something real quick. As you can see, there's a there's an arrow indicator that's gonna show you that there's force being applied up. And then if you push down, there's gonna be force being applied down. And this just shows you an active current number of how, how much force is being applied to this measuring device. You can hit peak, that button there, and then that's going to give you the maximum amount measured in any direction. So we're gonna pull, and there we go. Now we can see that we had 8.7 pounds. If we push, then now we have 12.6 pounds. We're gonna go ahead and zero this out so we get an accurate measurement. We're gonna go ahead and get our drill ready, place our measuring device on the trigger. We're going to pull until we can see or hear the drill move or the, the drill activate. There we go. So we had a maximum pull weight of 2.3 pounds. You would do the exact same thing if you were going to measure the trigger pull weight of a firearm. That's just, we're not going to be able to show that because Amazon has got their own little rules and stuff, but that's how this little unit works.